Welcome everyone, I'm Miss Michelle, and I'm so glad that you're here. I have a special question for you. Are you ready to celebrate Christmas? I am too. <laughs> Christmas is the day that Jesus was born. Why is Jesus so special? <laughs> That's right. It's because Jesus is God's son. Christmas is a very special time of year. We get to wear special clothes. <laughs> we get to eat special foods. And we get to open special presents. Even though Christmas is about Jesus' birthday, he allows us to be celebrating with him because ultimately, he's the greatest gift of all. The Bible says that God loved us so much that he gave his only son, says John 3, 16. This year, I'm trying to figure out what to give back to Jesus. And you know what? I've even been considering giving him a gift, but I have no idea what to give him. Do you have any ideas? Let me hear them. That's a great idea. I heard maybe giving Jesus a hug, maybe singing really loud, maybe giving him a dance. Maybe we can bake some cookies to give to our friends and make Jesus happy. Jesus would love a high five, don't you think? Let's jump for Jesus. Oh, I know, maybe we can write a note or draw a drawing and give it to Jesus. Jesus loves when we read the Bible, so maybe we can memorize a scripture verse. You know what? I think I'm gonna think about it during our story and I know that God will give us the best idea. If you're excited and you know what Christmas is all about, give me a thumbs up. Awesome! God loves me, God loves you. That's why Jesus sent the best gift ever. Now, let's get ready to do the three things that we do every week. First, we'll do a Bible verse. Second, we're gonna worship God. And guess what? We have three special songs for you today. And third, we will watch a Bible story. And after the story, I'll come back and we'll pray together. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, John 3, 16. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, John 3:16. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.
lucky to stay close by me forever and love me I pray bless all the dear children in thy tender care and take us to heaven to live with thee
know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. Yes. Oh, hello there, friends. Welcome to the Christmas Clubhouse. It's me, Manny, and I'm just so excited to see you today. Today has been all about candy canes for me. First, I put up my new candy cane decoration in the clubhouse. Doesn't that look cool? Then, I made candy cane Christmas cookies to give to some of my friends in the neighborhood. They're gonna be so happy. Do you like Christmas surprises? Me too! I just have to finish putting these cookies in this last box, and then I'll be ready to share them. I can't wait to see Uncle Bob's face when he sees the cookies. Why, thank you, Manny. And I bet my friend Annika will be so happy. Candy canes are my favorite! And my neighbor, Mr. Gonzalez, will be so surprised. Mr. Gonzalez doesn't say much, but he loves cookies. I can't wait to share these with everyone. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Who? Who? Planning Christmas surprises, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I was just finishing up putting my candy cane cookies in these boxes to share with my neighbors. Sharing at Christmas is a great thing to do. I have a story about others who share too. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> Hi, everyone. It's almost Christmas. Who's excited? <laughs> I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Check out my newest Christmas treats. Ready? Ta-da! <laughs> They're sheep with candy canes on the wrappers. These remind me of today's part of the true story of Christmas. If you're ready on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Oh, look! See, there's the sheep in the field being watched by their shepherds. What sound does sheep make? Ba, ba. Very good sheep! Okay, you can stop now because I've got something special to tell you. These guys don't know it yet, but on this very night not too far away, Jesus, God's son, was born! Let's do an excited whisper dance. Ready? Yay! <laughs> well, God is about to make a big announcement right out here in this field, and these guys are going to be so surprised. Watch this. <gasps> An angel appeared in the sky! The shepherds were so surprised, and the angel said, A special baby has been born. He's God's son. Go find him in the manger. Suddenly, the whole sky filled with angels. They were praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest. Let's pretend we're angels too. Hold out your pretend angel wings and let's say, Glory to God in the highest. Ready? Glory to God in the highest. Great. Again, now louder. Glory to God in the highest. Great job. Okay, everyone put their angel wings down. Everyone was excited about Jesus being born because Jesus is God's son. When the angels left the shepherds, they had to remember what the angels told them to do. Do you guys remember? Where did the angels tell the shepherds to go? <gasps> to see baby Jesus in the manger. <laughs> and once they saw him, they knew they needed to go tell 
everyone that Jesus, God's son, was born. Everyone who heard the good news that Jesus had been born was amazed. They knew Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <gasps> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Merry Christmas, everyone. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. The angels and shepherds told others about Jesus, and we can too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, I love that story. The shepherds were so excited to tell everybody that Jesus was born. They knew it was a big deal and wanted everyone to know about Jesus. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you didn't say got it, get it? Got it! Good! You know what? This looks just like the shepherd's hook in the story. I'm gonna make even more candy cane cookies to share with my neighbors. And I'm gonna tell them all about Jesus, just like the shepherds did when I delivered the cookies. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Wow, that was incredible. I am so ready to celebrate Christmas. While the shepherds were watching over the sheep, an angel appeared from the sky. The shepherds were so surprised. The angel told the shepherds, a special baby's been born. He's God's son. Go and find him in a manger. Suddenly, the whole sky filled with angels. They were praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest. When the angels left, the shepherds had to remember what the angels told them to do. Do you remember what the angels told them to do? That's right, the angels told the shepherds to go and see the baby in the manger, and they ran to the manger to go see baby Jesus. When the shepherds saw baby Jesus, they knew that they had to tell everybody they knew about Jesus, God's son. And everyone who heard the good news about baby Jesus being born, they were amazed. Hey, I just came up with the best idea ever for my Christmas present to Jesus. Just like the shepherds went and told everybody about Jesus, God's son being born, how about we tell everyone we know about Jesus being born as well? I think that would be the best way to celebrate and the best gift ever. That would make God so happy. What do you think? Okay, friends, it's time to pray. Let's close our hands and talk to God together. Dear God, thank you so much for Christmas. It's your special time to celebrate Jesus' birth. Help us to do what the shepherds did and tell everyone that Jesus, your son, is alive and that Christmas is all about when he was born. Help me when I'm thinking only about myself and what I want for Christmas. Thank you for sharing your birthday with us. Thank you for loving me and sending your son for me. We love you, God. And in Jesus' name, we all say, amen. Okay, friends, that was part three of our Christmas story, and we have one more part to tell. I hope that you'll join us next week so that you could hear it. Have a great week. Bye.